Hi guys, I am really sorry that I'm late. My deepest apologies. It's 20 after, I'm 20 minutes late. So you wanna hear my excuse? Well, part of it was my fault because I left my computer at work and as you know, cause I'm always complaining about it until I reach a thousand subscribers, I can't go live from any other device. So I tried for my husband's, but he must have restrictions on it that wouldn't let me. So um, then my computer did a software update. <laughs> so that took a while. <laughs> so here I am. And again, I apologize. So I'm going to do a, my version of a junk journal. And I'm going to use these um, Dollar Tree journals. Of course, they come from the Dollar Tree, so they're only a dollar. They used to have more of a textured surface on there, but now they're nice and smooth, so that's good for my purposes. And I kind of started one already while I was waiting. Um, and I'm going to do a cover on it. So I decided, so first of all, let me preface this by telling you, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't profess to um, know how to make a junk journal. I've looked at YouTube videos, but it's really not um, something I've ever done. So of course I'll attempt it live. <laughs> um, but I do love to look at uh, videos that people are making junk journals. Um, one of the vendors in my shop, Angelina's uh, Paper Crap. No, I'm, not, I'm not saying it right. Anyway, she makes beautiful junk journals. I love them. She makes, she uses all kinds of vintage like patterns and stuff like that. So I really didn't know what I was doing. So I, I what you'll see is a massive collection of all kinds of stuff. So um, what we'll do is we'll kind of get started a little bit with this and then we'll go through all the stuff. But I decided that in the course of this, since I don't really truly know how to do it, that I would focus on one subject because in all my stuff, I have all kinds of stuff, but I thought I would try to do a garden journal. So that being said, let's get started. So again, we're starting with a Dollar Tree journal and it has a nice smooth texture. I did put a coat of paint on the outside, um, which is mostly dry. I'm using Dixie Belle's Lucky Lavender and I'm gonna put some decoupage paper on here. Um, I'm kind of going through stuff that I have, uh, kind of cleaning up scraps of things. And this was something that was given to me um, from Redesign with Prima. So as you know, I'm, probably, I'm selling the Dixie Bell um, decoupage paper now. And I brought some of that home too. But um, in keeping with my garden journal, I'm trying to keep it with flowers. Now, I really, this isn't my favorite pattern, but we're going to, we're going to make it work. So I'm going to put the screen down so you can see what I'm doing. So I just um, put a coat on here and now I'm going to use some Dixie Bell clear coat and Put this on here and then cover that. The reason why I gave it a coat of paint before I'm putting this on is because it's a little transparent. I don't know if you can see my hand through there or not. So we don't really want like that orangey brown um, surface to show through. Okay, I'm going to use a big brush because I'm not going to be doing a lot of painting. So I probably still have a little bit of the lavender a little bit wet, but we're going to just move ahead. So I hope your weather is beautiful today because mine sure is. Oh, it's beautiful. Finally, top down on the convertible weather. <laughs> so, all right. So what I'm going to do is just lay this on here. I cut it a little bit bigger because I want to take it around uh, the sides. Okay, so I'm going to close this just so that I know that I have enough material. Okay, apparently I didn't cut that as long as I thought I did. But 
I'll open it back up. And before I do that, I'm gonna cut here on the ends because I'm gonna be folding them under. These aren't the sharpest scissors, so sharp scissors would be helpful here. This kind of rice paper, decoupage paper, is rice paper. And it's really interesting because it's kind of like fabric. So um, go ahead and open this up again. So I know that this fits, it's stretched on here. But let me, so I, I put the um, clear coat. This is Dixie Bell's clear coat in flat. So I coated the book with it. And now I am adding, after I put the paper on, now I'm coating it on top of the paper. Okay, so I'm trying to do this the best <laughs> way possible here. If I do it too tight, then the book's gonna have trouble opening. So that's why I'm, but I think I have a little extra here. I'm gonna be pretty generous with this. It probably wasn't real smart laying it down when it's wet. Okay, so. I'm just gonna fold this top over and attach that. So I'll just brush it in here, fold it over. So this is just like regular decoupage. This is exactly what you do when you decoupage anything. Okay, that piece isn't long enough. Okay, we're gonna let that go and come back to that. We're gonna trim it after it's dry. So let me, I'm gonna spread this out over my paint thing over here. I feel like I need these edges down a little bit more. Now that I know I'm gonna trim that, I wanna make sure that's really on there. So that's one of those little finishing details I can do later. I can paint the inside of the edge. Never fear, no accidents, right? That's what I always say. All right, so I'm just gonna put that over that book there to dry and put my brush in water, dry this off, and then I'm gonna start showing you some stuff, all my junk, and then we'll decide what we're gonna use in the junk journal. So if you've ever made a junk journal or if you know what a junk journal is, Feel free to comment and also uh, just say hi and where you're joining in from. Um, so things that you can put in a junk journal. So the idea behind a junk journal is that it has all kinds of pretty junk in it, but it's also um, you can use it as a journal. So in our case, we're going to do a gardening journal. So um, we're gonna try to focus on the flowers and stuff, but it's really nice because you're gonna be able to, we're gonna make little pages with pockets and little pages with um, just blank pages so that you can write like what day you planted what, or I, I have a garden journal that is really special to me that a friend gave me. Okay. So the first thing I have here is a beautiful book um, that my friend Brandy gave me. Now, I would not cut up this book at all to, to use it because I just think it's a beautiful book. Look at these um, botanical prints, but you can make photocopies of these and just kind of holding it up here, but look how pretty. You know, you can make photocopies and use these to your heart's content. You can reduce the size of them if you want, or just use pieces of them, whatever you want to do. And I did make a photocopy from that. So I'm just kind of laying all my stuff down as I go through it. Um, so there's nothing there that I'm going to use. 
Okay, this is a photocopy of two ladies wearing hats. And this actually came out of, um, this is a photocopy of a real postcard that came out of my grandmother's scrapbook, um, a postcard book. So these are, and back in those days, when they had postcards made, they were real people. Like these weren't just random ladies. These are probably people that my grandmother knew. So I think it's a pretty cool picture. And I don't know whether it really goes in a garden journal or not, but you know what? It's my junk journal. It's my version. So I can use them. So I'm just going to cut out this little picture of these little ladies. I've used this image before. Um, I've photocopied it before and I decoupaged it onto a flask. <laughs> so I thought it was really cute. All right, so we have that. And it looks just like an old photograph. Okay. Now, here's a few photocopies that I made from the, uh, the botanical print book that I showed you. Now, the, my photocopier is on a shelf, and I was trying to copy from the side that wasn't opened up too well. So what I'm going to do is just make... Um, just cut around this flower but this one I actually have a whole um, piece that I can cut out so um, I'm gonna do that right now and not just on the subject of junk journaling but just journaling in general. Um, I don't know whether any of you have ever journaled. I don't do it on a regular basis, but I have at different times in my life. And uh, I've done it before when I was dieting and just, um, you know, just different journeys you take in life and you just make notes. I've done it for gardening and other things. But so I'm just making a collection of little things that I'm going to use in here. Um, I'm going to just make a cut on here and then we can maybe even it up later if we want it to be neater. Um, I'll cut around a little bit more. Like I said, it didn't photocopy really well, but we'll make it work. I put so many things home. To work on this project everything but the computer <laughs> so on that note let me whine again about that when i have a thousand subscribers i can go live on a device other than my computer so i'll be able to have a lot better um a lot better images and reception and everything um when that happens so we did reach 650 so we're on our way up to 700 now. <laughs> okay, I brought some stencils home. I love this little chandelier stencil. Again, does it fit with a garden theme? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this might evolve a little bit just as my favorite things. So who knows? But anyway, there's that. I brought it because I thought it might be cool. And I'm going to set that in a, a definite possibility pile. Okay, now there's scrapbook paper. Um, my friend Nikki brought a ton of scrapbook paper to me just the other day. So um, that'll be fun. So we'll definitely use that. Okay, I brought home another stencil. This is a Mandela stencil. This is one of the stick and styles, or not stick and style, uh, silk screen stencils from the Bells and Whistles line from Dixie Bell. So they're fun to use. Um, also brought home the butterflies. That's more appropriate for a garden. Oh, and this will be pretty. Some flowers. Cool. Glad I got that. Okay, that's a definite. Okay. I also, this is more, this is more decoupage paper. I should have probably picked this one 
This is more along the lines of the floral that I like, plus it has butterflies. Hey, there are more junk journals to be made, right? Okay, so this is some of the decoupage paper um, that Dixie Bell has now. And it's, I love this stuff too. It is a rice paper. Now this is called Colorful, colorful Tiles. And again, this one's probably not great for garden. It might work though, because a lot of people have uh, tiles in their garden. So we'll keep that out in the maybe pile. Um, okay, and I also brought an encyclopedia home. This is the little, this is the golden book encyclopedia. Wow, this is old. Um, I remember these when I was a kid. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to see a year on here. I love these encyclopedias. What is the year? Oh my gosh, for real. It's the year I was born, <laughs> 1959. Okay. But I always thought these were really cool because they were just full of colorful pictures. And I just love them. I just love these. I was just like, this was amazing. We had these, I don't think we had this set. I mean, this wasn't my set when I was a kid, but we had these. So. Um, interesting. The first thing that when you open it up is daguerreotype print. That's like photos. And um, George Washington had his photo taken with a da daguerreotype. So it's an early type of photograph. So probably those little Victorian ladies were taken with a daguerreotype. I'm just going to take a quick look through here. Already on this last page, I see something I can use. I'm just going to pull it out, but really pretty uh, orchid on the bottom. So a little plant stuff here. Just going to take a quick look through. Just Now this isn't stuff I want to use, but look how colorful these pictures are. Awesome stuff. All right, uh, another thing's gonna happen when I, I'm able to use different devices. I'll have different cameras too. I did try doing the stream yard, um, but it seemed like it weakened my reception. So I don't really do that anymore. So here's some pretty paper. This is actually wallpaper. And this is um, from Sarah Vogel. Uh, she has clay cup and she makes also beautiful earrings, and she's going to be putting some of them in the shop um, at La Vintage Decor. But we can grow lemons in our garden, too, so we'll put that there. These are napkins from Ikea. So pretty. Um, so we can easily use those in the junk journal. Now, here's another thing that's really cool. And these are, now these are more um, patterns, but... Uh, vintage wrapping paper. These are really cool, but this is like little, this is probably a shower because it, yeah, it's little ladies with parasols with all these little presents falling down. So I guess <laughs> getting showered with gifts. Okay. So do you ever go to Ollie's and they have all these amazing books? So I picked this one up. It's called Handmade Collage. This is the coolest book. First of all, I love the way it feels. I'm really weird about textures on books. In certain books, I just love to touch because the way they are, can't explain it. It's weird. But anyway, now this is another one that I won't cut up, but I will make photocopies from. I didn't, but boy, wouldn't this be perfect? I'm definitely doing more of these. Um, this is with butterflies and the little little scissors because they're cutting the little flowers off. That would just be perfect. Um, but again, I'm not, I'm not going to just use it straight out of this book because I don't want to ruin it. But there's all kinds of weird quirky stuff in here like that, like just different stuff. <laughs> it's, a, it's an unusual book. So there's, there's pretty stuff, but then there's also like different 
quirky stuff. But it would be really cool. Mushrooms. Leaves. These are so pretty. And then they just kind of give you ideas on how to put them together. What is that? Is that I couldn't decide whether that was a cow, but it almost looks like a little monkey with <laughs> flowers on it. So cute. It is a little monkey. His name's Monsieur Gerard. So anyway, books like this are awesome, but I would make the photocopy just so you can keep the book intact. All right. Okay. Here's a cool thing. Victorian fashion paper dolls. So this would be really a good one to put with the little, you know, the ladies with their hats, if we were to do one like that. So who knows? And this is really awesome. I don't know whether you're familiar with paper dolls or not, but the, the cutouts are here. I mean, I guess they still make paper dolls, but not like they did when I was a kid. I'm trying to find the doll. These are all the clothes. Where's the doll? Huh. Well, I think we just have clothes here. But So that means this wouldn't be a bad thing to use. So maybe we'll do another one at some point. But yeah, I don't know where the dolls are. I think this was like a yard sale thing that my friend gave me. Because she knows that I won't say no. <laughs> Okay, and this also was stuff that I think she was going to decoupage and stuff. Um, so there's a lot of pretty little images. There's a switch plate cover, a couple of them here, but some pretty little round images on there. And then there's some birds and flowers. I think we will use these. I'll put these out. Um, decoupage paper. These are art prints. So this might actually, because like there's Victorian people in the garden, this might actually kind of marry our two ideas together. So maybe we will have um, ladies dresses and stuff in there. So I'm gonna put that on our definite maybe pile. And again, this is more um, art print originals, kind of Victorian lady things. Boy, I really see a lot of themes happening here. Um, what else do we have? I think these are vintage, yeah, vintage greeting cards. Little cool stuff. Holly Hobby. Anybody remember Holly Hobby? <laughs> this looks like, I don't know whether it's a boy or a girl, but it looks like Lassie anyway. Uh, bookmarks. Pretty. They're more cardboard, so I, you know what? We'll keep one out, though. That would be pretty um, to use as a bookmark. I did bring home some ribbon, too. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. More wrapping paper, and I don't, oh, this one will work. That one's pretty. And this one, this one will probably work too. Flowers and baskets. And this one is definitely wedding-y, you know, wedding bells and flowers. I don't think this is wedding specifically. All right, this, I don't know whether there's anything usable in here or not, but Don, if you're watching, <laughs> Don gave me this and we're going to use it on some jewelry things. But I thought, I'll just grab it. There's a little bird. That might be cool. I think there's enough that we can play around. I'm just going to. Oh, OK. Here's another thing that Nikki um, gave me. And this is a book. It's about making paper flowers. So I think this will be something fun to do. So there's just some, you can like punch out all of these. Let me pull a paper out here. Okay. 
this is going to be fun. So these are perforated. And you can punch this out. <laughs> Maybe you can punch this out. Folks, it's just not my night. <laughs> but I'm happy because I'm here with you now. So but this is really cool. This is worth the extra minute that it's taken to do this. I'll put the screen down a minute so you can watch me struggle. Yeah, it's just, um, like I said, they're perforated, but it's kind of hard to, to do. Doesn't want to just pop out real easily. So we might not be doing a whole bunch of these tonight, but these are actually perfect for this. And I like the way they're um, kind of dimensional too. Some of them have little uh, holes in the center. So, well, this one does too. So I guess if you wanted to string them, uh, you could, or they show them here. I'll show you the inside of this cover here in a second. They show all kinds of really cool projects with this. We're getting there. And I guess we could use the scissors to help out too. I just don't want to rip it. What's happening there? There. Okay, so we have things pop up on my computer sometimes. So we have these little flowers. I guess I didn't get this petal completely pulled out. But they're really cute. I'll hold it up here so you can see little floral design stuff. But here's the um, they're showing some of the things that you can do. Look at the wreath. And this is kind of like a junk journal. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I guess, a scrapbook page. But um, possibilities are endless with this. So there's lots of pages just like that. And then there's some that have really big flowers. So we might have to grab a couple of those, too. Um, oh, wow. I, apparently she used some of these really big ones, but, oh, and these are pretty, the paisleys and stuff. So, yeah, we'll definitely be using those a little bit. So I'm going to put that one up here in our pile. And I still have a few more things to go through, but we'll, we'll try to move along here because we won't get much scrapbooking done or much journaling done. These will be fun to use because um, they're just little like frames and little floral designs and stuff. So those would be perfect places to write in. So um, once we select some things, then we'll get moving on this. Punch out pack. Um, oh, this is another thing too. This would be cool like little for little journal pages and stuff. Um, So there's all kinds of words that you can cut out. Um, luck, learn, laugh, love, live. Cutie, dream, hope. And just all kinds of little things. So we can, like rainy days, that would be a cute one to put in there. Moment in time. So another possibility here. Okay, so now that I've gone through this pile, I'm going to put this down here so I have a little room. And then I uh, just want to show you some of the other things I brought home. Um, so I brought a bunch of stamps so we can, you know, put leaves and all kinds of stuff. These are 
Um, some of them are redesigned. Some of them are old uh, iron orchid design. This is just a, like a loose bucket of loose ones or a bucket of loose ones. <laughs> so, I mean, I even have some like numbers and letters in here. So who knows what we'll come up with. I have like marble ones in here. So there's all kinds. <laughs> this, is, this looks pretty bad, but they, uh, they, oh, wow. This is perfect. I'm glad I grabbed this. Look, the bird bird with a rose that's going to be really pretty that's going to make a perfect page that's going to be my first page i'm excited about that okay so all kinds of fun stuff here and a little like laurel wreath pretty 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 okay we're just going to do like some pages so you get the idea i brought home some wooden stamps you know we can spell out some things and then these I've had forever. Um, they're just like little, they're already cut out flowers, the paper. And I think they will be perfect for it. So let's get moving. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff. That's that's for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna trim up this cover later. We're gonna get started on the inside. So one of the things that I want to do is to make a pretty inside cover on here. So I have um, I have tacky glue for that, and I'm keeping it like upside down so that it pours out nicely. So maybe um, this would be good for that. I also brought some various paint colors home too, um, and some gilding wax, and I have some stamp pads. Um, some ink so that we can just use our imagination and go a little crazy. So I'm gonna put this down and we're gonna roughly measure this paper is not too heavy but it's nice and heavy. But it's not so heavy you can't manage it. So I'm just kind of folding along. So originally I was going to show you how to make drop cloth curtains because I'm going to be making some curtains for my porch. But all the hardware didn't arrive in time, so um, it was kind of the essential part I needed to show you. <laughs> so, um, okay, so I'm just folding this. And then cut another one for the back. And they wouldn't have to be the same. Now there's another slip that we can use. We can make a pocket with this. Now if you wanted to make this as a gift for somebody, you could personalize it for them. I'll just trim that off because it's kind of folded up there. Now, don't forget, we're going to just go over some pages and then, um, you know, what I usually do is finish it up, clean it up, and then post it on my Instagram page for you. Okay. Now, I know that real junk journal people have special glues that they use for paper, clearly. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just using Aileen's Tacky Glue, which I, I like. That's a good glue, I think, because it, um, it's tacky <laughs> in a good way.
Okay. Let's do the back cover. You know what? I got a paper stuck in there. No one's ever going to know when we put that on there that there's a paper under there and not the back cover, right? So. Okay, so we have an inside cover and a back cover, okay? We're getting somewhere. Okay, now remember I said that the first page that I was gonna do is gonna be this bird. So I'm gonna use a stamp pad. Oops, I have a laurel leaf with the bird. It's attached. They're just sticky. So, so all we have is a bird, okay? So I'm going to use, okay, this, is just regular black ink which stamp pad which i haven't used in ages so i don't know how sticky it is or how how uh, much moisture is in it so we're gonna give it a whirl and try it we're just getting the ink on the little bird looks like he has some ink on him i'm gonna get some more on there Okay, and then we're just gonna set them down and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it here and let it just kind of go over onto the cover. So I'm just pressing down on this stamp and I like it. So there's our first page already. That was easy. Now, if I wanted to, you know, we could put a letter or something up here, but I just kind of like it just like it is. Okay, and another thing you can do is glue pages together if you want them to be kind of thick. Um, and again, I'm making this up as I go along. So um, you also might want to like distress these pages a little bit, which we might do. Um, so I have white which isn't going to do much on that and I also have this copper this is cool I like this so what you can do is just um, go around your page edges like this and just distress the edges it just kind of gives it a little bit of a Finishing touch, like a little aged look. I'm going to remember to close these stamp pads so they don't dry out. But I love the little bird. I think he's adorable. Okay, so since the next page, let's do... Uh, let's do a flower. Okay, so here's the one that I cut out. And then... The other one, I almost feel like we should glue these together, though. So that would be these two together. Yeah, I just kind of feel like it should be a little thicker. So I'm going to do that. And because this is, a, you know, kind of a, I don't want to say it's a thin page, I'm going to get a brush to use with the glue and spread it out so that we don't have any glue lumps. You want to take it out to the edges of the page pretty much as far as I can so that they line up. Okay, so that was easy and we're just gonna do that. Now there's all kinds of things too that you can do 
like on the sides of the page, like kind of like bookmarks, you know, like almost like in a binder, things that that um, are marked for each page. So I don't know whether this is a good idea or not um, to put that glue on there, but we will find out, right? This is an experiment. Told you, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm happy to happy to just experiment a little. So I'm gonna take um, one of these paper flowers and just kind of layer it on top of that one. Just get some glue on there and put that on. I think I have I don't know whether I have a couple layers or not. No, I guess I just have one. So these all have um, holes in the middle, these little flower things, because I guess, you know, they would be cute to string on something. And we really should have something for the middle of that flower. You know what? Now's the time for me to look at the bottle cap uh, book because it is full of little round images and there's some cute little ones up at the top. And these are stickers. So there's a cute little, um, I don't know, just a pink sort of flower image. So let's just do that, put it in the center. And boom, this is cute because it's three dimensional, but we're not really done with the page yet. Um, so again, I think that these pages should um, just be thicker, you know, so that's why I'm doing, sticking them together. Um, don't know, like, again, this is a Dollar Tree journal, so I don't know, like, whether I'm, do what I'm doing is someone is rolling over in their grave or, you know, that's into journaling. I don't know, Angelina, if you're watching, you're probably like, ah, what is she doing? Because clearly this is not the same kind of artistry that uh, Angelina does. It's beautiful. I love it. But what I'm doing is just what I feel like doing, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this could be, since we already did another embellishment on it, I feel like this is a cute paper for someone to write on. Um, but let's do a little, let's put a little lace down at the bottom. We could make it run the whole way across. Let's do that. Okay, so again, we're going to use this copper ink. So, so far we're doing pretty good. We have a bird and we have a flower page. That didn't come off too good. Hmm. I'm not going to uh, keep trying to go over it because then the image really will get messed up. So I'm just going to do a little bit more on the edge here and finish this off. Maybe I will go over that again. I just might not have pressed too hard. That looks better. Okay, and then one more thing before we move on. Just kind of doing that. Probably I'll end up doing this on all the pages because I just think it gives it a nice look. It's a little consistent on each page. All right, so we're moving along. So we have our cover, we have our inside cover, our little birdie that we can write on the first page, and another flower that we can write on the second page. This is gonna be our pocket page. This is the one. Now I'm gonna uh, put some glue in between these, as we have been doing. Thank you. 
I had a really cute little thing that I was looking for that I had ordered from Wish and it was made out of vellum. So, you know, you can use all kinds of interesting things. You could use wax paper in here and make a little pocket um, and then put things in it that you can see. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. It's like it was a little vellum envelope. So who knows? We might get there. Oh, I have a dog under my feet. <laughs> my little grizzly boy. Okay. So for a pocket, I'm looking for some paper down here. This is cardboard. This is our pocket page. Um, I think it should only be on one side. Okay, I'm just going to cut it. This is heavy cardboard. That's why I'm doubling these pages up so that it just kind of makes sense that it's just sturdier. Okay, now this is one of those places where I would put, and I might figure something out here, something on the side. This is like one of those pages that you wanna kind of call people's attention to. Got a little extra glue there. I don't want that because then when it closes, we'll be gluing the pages, not the pages that we want to be together. <laughs> so um, in this little pocket, you know, you could keep whatever you wanted. Um, the person could, of course, our glue is going to have to dry. But, you know, it would be cute to put, say, one of those little flowers or... You could even do a photograph, like say you just wanted to tuck that in there, which looks pretty cool. So let's do that. Um, I also have stencils here. These are... I don't know whether the font is really appropriate. These are JRV stencils, and I was thinking it would be cool to put like a, a G for garden or something. Um, I know what we'll do. We'll use these little letter stamps and we'll spell garden out. If I can get the package open. That one is, actually has a box, which is nice. Um, okay, so I think we'll use the black ink. I don't know whether these were used or not. I don't know, these are, some of them are still stuck together, so. Gee. A R D and E are next to each other. That's how the alphabet works. D E N. Actually, if nothing else, you learned that tonight, right? <laughs> okay. All right, so we have garden. But I don't know whether I'm going to be adventurous enough to try to stamp this all at once. That would actually be cool if I could do that. I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to be crazy and try that. I'm going to, I'm going to do a trial run first on my paper. Uh, looks kind of cool. I think I need to line these up just a little bit more. And I don't care if they're imperfect because, you know, old typewriter print isn't always perfect. I just don't want to see the edges. Okay, I love it, except my G didn't turn out, so I'm just going to go over that and hopefully I don't screw it up. Oh, perfect. I love it. You see that? Isn't that cute? So I think that turned out. So I'm going to close this. Um, 
you know, this might become a new hobby because I'm enjoying this. I honestly, though, I will tell you that I don't think that the good old Dollar Tree Journal is going to be the best kind of paper for this. Um, I actually think what I'd like to do is use an old book and um, with more stable pages. But I think that would be cool. And also, I'm going to have to learn what kind of glue is the best to use. Because I don't think I'm using the best kind of glue. And also, I'm kind of rushing through it. I'm not really getting and letting anything dry. So, there's that. All right, let's review. I think this is cute. Okay, so there's our front. Oops, we went right there. So, hope that's not sticking. Okay, here's our front cover. Inside cover with our first page with the bird. And our second page with a flower. And our third page with a garden and a little pocket. Now, I'm not done with this page. I want something. Uh, I think this is what we're going to do. Just going to glue this here. There's nothing on the back of it. Let's put something on the back of it, too. Um, well, oh, you know what I should have done is glued that in between that page. And also, this is going to give me trouble, I think. Okay, going to skip that idea just because I should have thought. So if I want to do you, to do that again, I'll glue it in between the pages. So maybe we'll do it on this page. Let me see what I mean. So we're gluing the pages together again. This is fun. And I am like just thinking of all kinds of possibilities now. Like I said, with like the wax paper, making a little envelope and putting little stuff in it. This would be a great gift for somebody to make a really good gift. Oh, and I forgot in my in between my pages, I wanted to glue this little piece of paper. Good thing is I have lines, I can kind of line it up straight. Kind of. <laughs> okay, so that looks neat, kind of coordinated with that page. So what are we gonna do on this page? Um, let's, hmm. Let's just put, uh, let's do the ladies. Now let's save the ladies. I might do a whole different journal with that. Okay, let's just um, put this just trim this a little bit you know I needed another hobby <laughs> I don't have enough to do just kidding but this is a great way to use up junk like I guess hence the name right we have a piece of this, a piece of that. Put it in a junk journal. I love it. Now, I seriously, I always wondered why it was called a junk journal until I just said that. So, I'm sure a lot of you have figured that out. I'm just not that bright. I think I need that to be wider.
Okay, so that's a cool page. Um, uh, where was that book that had all the little stickers? Mm. Not this one. I wanted the ones with the words. Where did I put that one? Here. Okay, I guess they aren't stickers. They're just things. But I'm just going to take this one that says rainy days. These would be cute things to stick out from the sides, too. Actually, you could, you know, do something like that. That, that would be cute. I'm going to have to remember that one. So I don't know whether it would be cool or not that the pages are kind of crinkly. <laughs> I just hope they don't stick together. I'm going to have to have an interesting, find an interesting way to dry this. Okay. It might look really cool when it dries because of the wrinkly pages. So we'll see. Okay. So there's that page, which I think is pretty. All right. And then we just have a little page turner here. And we have a few pages stuck together here. Okay. I think that was naturally stuck together. That wasn't me. That was from from the old Dollar Tree. All right, what are we doing on this page? Um, we haven't used a stencil yet. Okay, so let's get the um, the butterfly stencil. Because every garden has a butterfly, right? I've used a couple of these already. And I, oh, that's pretty too. Um, Let's do a couple things here. This will be pretty big. Let's do this. I always like to cut these. I mean, you could just tape off the ones you don't want, but it's just, I like to cut them. All right. Um, so I did bring some paint home for this. Um, I tried to bring colors that like there's Daisy and you want to keep the backing on that because this is a reusable stencil. It's a silk screen stencil. So you can use it over and over again about 10 times. So there's like a mesh in there, just like a regular silk screen. Okay. Let's see what color let's use um, evergreen for this, if I can get it open. Normally I try to get all my jars open before I start, but you know, tonight was a little rocky start. Okay. Um, so with the silk screen stencil, I'm just going to take a lot of paint off the just because I'm working on a paper in a book. <laughs> I 
I don't know whether I used too much paint there or not, but we shall find out, right? But I got paint on my shirt. I was gonna say, really? It's not a surprise. That happens all the time to me, as you might imagine. But it's always a bummer when it happens. <laughs> So I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, because I am loving this. <laughs> it's so much fun. Lately, I've really just been having fun doing what, you know, I feel like doing. I just like put the brush in my hand lately, and it just kind of happens. So on furniture and on projects like this. Okay, not perfection, but it's cute. Okay. I think that's enough for that page, because if someone did want to write on there, they wouldn't have much room to write. And I am, you know, trying to keep every page consistent by doing this ink around the edges. And sometimes on the paper itself. <laughs> All right, what time is it? Oh, we've been on over an hour. Let's do one more page. We'll try to find something really cool. I hope. <laughs> the stamping's fun. I'm going to let that dry a second. Let's, uh, I'm going to put this up a second. So, so far we haven't used any Victorian ladies, but, you know, we'll, I think that's going to be another journal. I just have a feeling that. So uh, let's see what we've got. Let's. We didn't use any of the wrapping paper yet. So many possibilities here. That was so much fun. Okay, there's this one page. I like that. Let's just do a one of those on a, a page. This would be nice if you were making this for someone and you put their picture in this, in the frame. Okay, so I had to pick one that has scallops. I did like the little stamps, they were fun. I'm not doing this perfectly. I'm just kind of roughly cutting. I always make a terrible mess on Tuesday talk. <laughs> Usually have a quick Tuesday night cleanup and then Wednesday morning is Tuesday or Wednesday cleanup. <laughs> but you know, since um, wonderful COVID, my husband's been working from home a lot and yeah, he, we do have an office upstairs, but um, it needs a makeover. And so he's been using the dining room table. And I'm closest to the modem here, so I use the dining room table for this. And, um, yeah, so, hey, it's our home, and we live in it. So we're having 
so, you know, I have that new Thursday show and we're going to be doing a, um, a story if, if everything works out. Okay. I shouldn't say that for sure. Right, just stay tuned. <laughs> I am going to be doing a front porch makeover. So I'm not exactly sure when that's going to happen because I have some of the, the things for my curtains that haven't arrived yet. So, Okay, let me put the screen down. Did I put it down too far? <laughs> um, more ink. Um, let's think of something fun to say. We can put a little uh, word inside inside that frame. How about we say, you are here? How about that? Just like a, as if it was a map. And you know, you can save little scraps of lace and ribbon and do all kinds of fun stuff like that. Oh boy, this is a little wider than I thought it was. Hmm. Think. I don't really want to cut the edge of that off. Let me see if I have another small one. Yeah, and this will be easier to cut out. Sorry about that. So let's use one of these instead. We'll save that for another time. And this has all kinds of fun stuff. You could cut that out and use it too. I'm going to just cut out around here. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm changing my mind. I keep changing my mind. But I could cover a whole page with that. And then it looks like wallpaper. But I already cut this. I'm just going to keep going here because I'm not going to cut out those little slips around there. All right, so we have this, and I think. I said, wanted to say, you are here. And I think these, these are good for this job. Why? Oh, you. So you, you are here, H, and then I have the E, R, and E. So I have all my letters. So I'm going to try inking them all at once again. You are well, I can't oh. um, well I can do H E R and then put the E on the end. So until I do that, it'll just say, you are her. <laughs> uh, 
Right here, let's get this E. Okay, I think that's cute. You are here. So which side are we gonna put it on? So we did that kind of, so let's do this over here. Again, I don't know how these pages are gonna dry, but we'll find out. It'll be interesting. As, as the title of this video said, it is my version. So I was allowed to do it however I wanted, right? <laughs> All right, I'm getting to close my ink here. Let's just do one more interesting thing on this page. Let's get one of these, this bottle cap stickers. I don't know why I want to use one of those, but I guess because it's a sticker and it's easy. We did use one of them, right? Oh, here's a pretty little one. Just has flowers on it. Let's just stick it over here. Okay, so let's review. I'm gonna put the thing up here. Let's let's take another look. So that's what our front looks like. And you know, we can put a little plate on the front of it. Like this might be a good place. I don't know whether it might be too big. We get it. We can get another one. And maybe put garden journal or something on there. Um, another thing we can do is um, take ribbon, I definitely want to do this, and put ribbon down the middle so we can mark the pages. And don't forget, I'm going to be tucking these under and making this look a lot neater. But this is the front, and this is our first page, and I think this is my favorite page so far with the bird. I just think it's pretty. And our next page has a flower and some lace. And then our next page. Yeah, they're sticking together a little bit. So I'm going to leave it dry, um, just kind of like standing up, I think. And the second page has a little pocket with a little piece of paper in it. And it says garden. And then our next page has rainy days and a flower on it. Oh, and this one has a little page turner. And then this next one is a stenciled page. And the last one we just did, you are here. So with us doubling them up like that, really, it wouldn't take much longer to do the rest of the book, but obviously too long for tonight. So I'm going to let this dry. And as always, I will update you um, when I have it finished. And who knows, you may be seeing this again, because I thought this was kind of fun. So I think I'll enjoy doing this some more. So I think, you know, I'm going to let these pages dry, like I said, and then tomorrow, I think it's going to need when it is dry, it's going to need weighted down, you know, because like so it's going to want to pop up already like that. So once everything's dry, I think then it's going to have to sit weighted down for a while. But I kind of love it. Um, we'll see what it, how it turns out and might be something I end up doing all the time because it's very fun and relaxing and a great way to use scraps. And I might end up selling them in the store. Who knows? But I want to thank you a lot for watching and putting up with me being late tonight and all that good stuff. So um, stay tuned. Watch Thursday and Saturday, of course. 
and um, just I appreciate it. Anything you do, if you share, comment, uh, like it, give it a thumbs up, um, all that good stuff all helps my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. So uh, ask your friends to subscribe. <laughs> Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.